morning everyone i hope everybody's staying safe staying healthy um this video right here is about flexi quiz most of you are already on flexi quiz you already know the program um this is more so geared towards mr jameson students because a lot of them have not been on flexi quiz at least not with me um here at uei so um this is a brief tutorial i do have handouts that i gave to my previous students about uh, you know the flexi quiz um protocol or whatever um anybody here to hand one out to anyway i don't even have any so i'm just going to do a um quick tutorial so um what flexi quiz is is a, it's an online entity it allows us to do all the assignments on your devices so you don't have to worry about um turning in papers to me you don't have to worry about waiting for me to grade them and then get it back to you uh it's easier to track what you're doing track your progress um easier for you to get your assignments the moment you click submit it spits out your score to you know exactly what you get uh what your grade is on that assignment so in my classroom we've been doing all our homework all our exams on flexi quiz so it's virtually a paperless classroom uh, in my classes so um now since during this crisis i'll be in charge of all the hvac classes the ones who have not been on flex quiz are now on there so i've already included all of these students in my account so i'm going to just give you a quick walkthrough on how to access it so we'll do a quick screen share all right so when you go to flexiquiz.com this screen will come up there is no app for it as far as i know um i've been checking and I, they still haven't made one so you just got to go to the website itself you're not going to click sign up because i signed everyone up already all you have to do is click log in and then your username will be your your first and last name and then your password will be hvac1 and it's the same password for everyone so i'm gonna pick a student at random uh, i'm gonna go with one of jameson's students let's do romero alvarez so romero alvarez right yeah and then the password will be hvac1 now notice i spelled the name the way you would put it like on any legal document um first name uh, or first letter of each name is capitalized with the space in between the names so it'll be capital r romero space capital a for alvarez and then the the uh, uh password is going to be hvac1 all lowercase no spaces h v a c the number one all lowercase no space and then you just click log in and then you wait for your computer to load up there we go so boom the first assignment that i've assigned to mr jameson's class is actually up so all of the students in his class um can see it so once you've logged in all the assignments that i have assigned will show up right here on this dashboard and then you would just click on the assignment uh, i'm gonna go ahead and click it so romero when you do open your flex request for the first time you're gonna have it's gonna show incomplete but don't sweat it you can always just you know go ahead go in there and get it done so what i've done is i made sure all the questions all the um review questions all the exam questions are all multiple choice or true and true or false uh making it easier for you to you know to get through it so this right here would be the first assignment for week four in module 135 so you know you just go in click them click whatever click your correct answer and then once you're done you click submit the moment you click submit it's going to show you your score and it's going to give you the option to review your questions or retake the exam so if you don't like your score if it's below passing or if you feel like you can do better you have unlimited attempts you can always make it better i encourage students to always you know try to get 100 if you don't get it the first time um you know retake it while it's still fresh in your mind so if you once you click submit it's going to give you those options review answers or uh you know what let's just go ahead and do it boom submit and we wait 
there it is. So I have zero out of 10 because I didn't ask another question. So uh, Romero, you got zero out of 10. You got some work to do, buddy. So you can go, you can click retake quiz or you can review your answers. So let's just say I did complete the test. I was happy with my score and I want to save it. I'll go ahead and click review answers. And then I click this PDF button. And boom, now it's saved automatically as a download on my device. And that's all you have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And again, sorry, Romero, for the L that you had to take. But um, once you go in there, it'll you, you can just retake it and up your score from zero to 100. So that is how you do FlexiQuiz. This is how all the assignments will be done. Um, for those who are not in my class, this is how you're going to be doing things up until you go back to your original classroom and your original teacher. Uh, my students, it's just going to be business as normal. When we go back to, when we come back to class, uh, you know, we'll still be using FlexiQuiz. So that is how the assignments will be done. Um, any questions, feel free to call or text me. Uh, text is better. It's usually hard for me to take calls. I'd be real busy <laughs> around here, but, um, but I'm always available. Those who know me know that um, my number is 310-365-1342. Uh, text me if it's not allowing you to log in or if something else is wrong or if you just have a general question. Um, I do misspell names from time to time. So if you can't log in, it could likely be that. And I may have to go in and correct that. So just let me know. Um, other than that, good luck, everybody. And I will be checking these and I can see everyone's scores. Actually, I'm going to do a quick, I'm going to go ahead and log into mine um, so you can see how I keep track of things. So just so you can see what I see. And it's in real time. I mean, the moment you click submit, it updates in my system. I, I may have to hit refresh, but um, so I could just go to reports and I can pull a report um, based on the quiz. I could pull a report based on the group because I assign groups per classroom or whatever it is. So uh, let's go ahead and go group. I'll pull the report by group. And then I'll pick. Let me see what group do I want to pick. I'm gonna go with let's go with the intro class. And so this is the this is the report. These are all the assignments. Let me just open up that search a little bit. So these are all the assignments that we've done. Uh, week one exam, um, key terms, review questions, all these different things. So all the ones in pink are not passing scores. All the ones in white boxes have not been submitted or not started. All the green boxes are all complete with satisfactory scores. Um, I see I see some hundreds on there. I see some eighties. But anyways, so this is the report that I pull every day to see who's doing what. And then you will receive a text or a call from me just to see what's going on. Like, hey, you know, you got some work to do, especially when we get towards the end of the week, because I don't like to let work pile up. And then the next week is going to be that much more complicated because you have to focus on the task at hand plus past work. So anyway, I check this often I, I um, and I keep everybody updated. That way we can all move forward and have a successful, uh, you know, student career because your habits here is going to follow you into the field. Those that know me know I say that almost every day, but uh, the truth is the truth. So anyways, that is my Flexi Quiz um, tutorial. Again, do not go to sign in, go to log in, because I've already signed everyone in. Uh, username is your first name, space, last name. Password is HVAC1, all lowercase, no space. And then once you get in there, you'll see the assignments that have been assigned to you, and you can take it from there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I will see y'all later.